Hello everyone, this is Mani Yash from Dream Vision Creations. I just want to give you guys a quick update on a product I've been working with here. I've been experimenting for the last two years trying to find a flexible material for our skull masks and any masks that people want a little bit more durability with. Um, you saw last video where I tested out 45D from Smooth On and it was a little too flimsy. So now I'm testing out a new material called KX Flex 90. They have a 90 and a 60 formula. But I'm actually pretty happy with my micro test. This is like my third of uh, micro casts here, a little tiny doll head. This one's actually two layers of KX Flex Pure, and then third layer is a half mix of KX Flex and Onyx. So I just want to show you guys that this stuff is flexible. It kind of feels like an actual doll head used for those little soft body dolls or a Tupperware container. So it can flex, it can definitely take an impact. It does not cut or rip easily, it can be sanded. And overall, I'm pretty happy with the results in this. Um, I ended up doing like a couple of the small tests on it, a couple of little tiny pores in the molds. It's a clear material, so we can do any kind of color easily like we can the 325. So this is my first large test, which is the lower jaw of our skull canine. And same thing where I have pure layers of KX Flex, so you see the teeth are like super, super squishy. But yet it springs back to its original position pretty fast. So these can take an impact, they can take a hit, you're not going to hurt anybody, you're not going to get hurt yourself. And then I have the extra reinforcement of the Onyx and the KX Flex mix on the last layer, which helps stiffen up this area, which is going to take the most amount of uh, wear and tear just because that's going to be where hinges are attached. I do still need to do the hinges, I still need to test out how the glue works. We might have to... Um, actually do bolts in here instead of doing rivets. Again, it's still a work in progress, but I wanted to show you guys that I have been working on this. It's been going on for two years now, trying to find the right material. Um, the only downside with this material, kind of like with the 45D, is that it is very thick when you're working with it, and it also cures and sets super fast, way faster than any of our Smoothcast series materials. So even in small amounts, I don't know if you can see this, but there is a bubble right here on the tooth. And a couple little tiny micro bubbles here but i did my best to get out the bubbles as fast as i could but again the working time is very very limited on this product it even i mean we get a full cast ready or a full cast at least done within half the time of our normal skulls but it takes a lot longer for the material to fully set it takes about an hour so it has to sit in the mold for an extended period of time before we can actually pull it so it kind of ends up evening out time wise but yeah, I just want to give you guys an update on something we're working on. Um, I might go ahead and offer these in store as uncut for now because as an uncut, this product I can guarantee you is going to work. I just can't say for sure whether or not it can be hinged. So if you're fine with not having a moving jaw on a skull or you just want the upper and just attach it to like a pauldron or something like that or, you know, a decorative piece on some armor, that's fine. Or just have it as a headpiece um, and do decorative things on that. It just, do we still need time in order to be able to figure out the hinging? But thank you all for watching and stay tuned for more updates.